episode, I'm Dean. I'm Seth. And uh, this week's episode, uh, this being the month of October, uh, it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so we are going to change things up. And for in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we are doing the G&G Femme Fatale. Uh, to get this thing started, nice bright pink box. It's a pink M4. Yep. As per most G&G guns, you have the full That's quality box. The most color I've ever seen on a box, bar none. Uh, their, their manual is a poster. Very nice poster, yeah. Double sided and pink. It's a poster stock and everything. It's incredible. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. It even has instructions for battery doesn't have on there. Awesome. Yeah, it, there's two variants of this gun. There's the Raider version, which is the 416 essentially, rather than an M4, uh, which has been discontinued. Yet the manual still has all the information. But there it is. Uh, it's the, based on the GNG Combat Machine M4. Um, has 450 rounds. Sport line. Yeah, so it is a polymer body. Let's get that out of the way. Full polymer body. Does have metal components. It has a decent paint on it for the purple, but again, it's purple and pink. Magenta. <laughs> and sparky. Uh, yes, they did a fine job, you know, making this gun look as unmanly as possible. You know, I'm not sure how to describe that. Okay, let's make all the metal components sort of powder coat. Uh, what do you call it? Like metal flake, magenta. Basically, look like a gay lowrider. Yeah, gay lowrider. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it does have a 450 round high cap, uh, like most standard G and GM4. Um, on one side, you do have the, their Femme Fatale logo, which most people will probably recognize a Charlie's Ang Charlie Angels S logo to it. A chick um, holding two guns. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it does have a nice sling point built into the back, so it's it's. They've done some good stuff to it. Um, now the battery does go in the front handguard, however they didn't start including a crane stock on it. Yeah, that's kind of funny. I was like, okay, so they're... You pulled this out last time, but uh... It comes with the standard crane stock, which can hold a crane stock battery, and comes with a little, uh, little adapter that fits in the back to hold the battery itself, so... And it is wired, it actually cut out in the back, so you can actually get right to the gear box, I believe, almost. Yeah, there's a whole slot in the, in the back, so you can wire it, no problem, yeah. in the back. It's essentially the same gun as the their Raider or uh, 416 variant. It's just obviously they just changed the front end hanger because it even has the same uh, pistol grip as the other variant. Yep. Now it's along easier. along with the rest of the stuff we get in the package, you're going to get G and D standard catalog, and you're going to get a bag of BBs. But I'm kind of disappointed, G and D. They're not pink. Yeah. What what is this? You spent all this money on plastic polymer pink. Plastic. This isn't painted. This is actually pink plastic. Yeah. This is literally pink plastic and anodized or whatever these are parts. And well, what is this? What? What? It's not pink. It's. If what a cap is red. Oh, it's, it's. The only problem with it is, is it doesn't grip either. Just yeah, it's, it just falls right off. off. I'm not sure um, what they were thinking when they did that. <laughs> I haven't seen the other guns either, but it shouldn't fall off at all. So. The other thing you'll notice it. on the flash it does have the notch out like on all other G and G guns. Again, as we've said before, yeah, that's standard. Saying. It's supposed to be that way. He didn't get a broken flash hider. Um, now, we do have this hooked up with our standard 7.4 LiPo, um, which is equivalent to a 9.6, so we are going to get a good uh, FPS and rate of fire for you on it. But yeah, overall, it's just a pink M4. Yay. So let's go ahead and get it down range. So just can... in time for Halloween. Yes! You can walk around carrying that, right? Don't. <laughs> Decent time down range with it. Uh, average about 354. 350 or so. Yeah. So perfect for CQB events. Uh, if you're going to go to Tax City, take your girlfriend with it. Yeah. <laughs> if you have one. <laughs> um, it came in with a respectable rate of fire about 12 and a half uh, rounds a second. Which, pretty good for a starting gun. Yeah, and I mean, think, the thing to remember that is 7.4 LiPo. Uh, it's equivalent to about a 9.6, so it's pretty standard is what you're going to get in a gun. Yeah. Um, the thing I am impressed with on G&G's overall, on their M4 series, is the 450 round high cap. It's a little bit more than the standard 300, 
Um, it's a pretty nice magazine in general. I mean, yeah, it functioned really well. No feed issues, so that's that's always a good thing. It's a nice even magenta color. Yeah, you you can't see any odd running, making different colors. <laughs> um, overall, it performed well. It shot well. Um, it, if I had to put a number on it, which obviously we do, um, I'd probably go with a seven for the qual quality of the gun. It would be an eight if it wasn't pink. Yes. So I'm not gonna run it. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm giving it a seven. Just, I mean, it performed well. Um, now it comes in at one thirty five ninety nine. On most websites, which isn't too bad. So it's Sportland price. It's, it's equivalent with all the JGs and all the other manufacturers out there. Only drawback is it doesn't come with a battery charger. And it's pink. Well, yeah, other than that. <laughs> uh, but no battery and charger means you're going to have to invest a little bit in a battery and charger, which is not too That's bad. That's where you're saving your money. So, um, and another thing, just like you're standing for, just have the removable charge, or carrying handle so you can expose a rail, put uh, optics on it, whatever you want. Yeah. I mean, I'm obviously deeply disappointed in their dust cover, which is a stamped piece of metal in a wrong spring direction. Oh my god, see, this is not supposed to do this. I'm sorry. And this is not in the dust. Alright, well, what is this? What? It's blue. Yeah, it's not blue and bare metal. What up, guys? And green plastic adjustment for your hobby? What? Yeah, that's just one thing that oh is a little god. disappointing is that the fact that charging handle doesn't even control it. It doesn't, it doesn't do shit. It's just cosmetics. Ah, uh, it's just, wow. I mean, if you're gonna go all the way, at least go all the way. Oh, well, it's, it's just a sport line gun that's painted a terrible color. In, in the real estate world, the only time you see pink guns are guys who are trying to entice their wives to get into the gun business because women don't generally like guns, and pink guns really don't do it for them either. So it's a pretty stupid idea no matter where you do it. <laughs> this is a very limited market, but it sells apparently. I don't know. People buy it. I yeah, then I've, I've seen uh, the organizer of Lion Claw running pink tech here in one of these, so... It wow. does sell. I have seen some girls. There's a whole team that uh, runs all G and G gear, and there's three girls on it running these. So they are out there. It's just it's very because they got it free. I'm just saying. Yeah, probably. Right? <laughs> they didn't uh, buy these guns. They they are few and far between. Yeah. Um, but if you're gonna be entirely unique and original, <laughs> or not, because it's retarded. But you know, make sure to check for lumps this season. <laughs> yes, yes, I, I check quite often. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm giving it a 7. 7, whatever. It's just so, a, it's this G&G Sport line, it's pretty cheap, still works. Same with any other color, it's going to be the same gun. But you know, they took that extra effort to make it pink and fancy thing, but it's graphic that you can't even see really, because it's just a painted white. Well here, maybe they can see it. Yeah, it's same as what's on the, on the box. I'm going to have you guys just paint on the side, you're going to make a pink body anyway, I just might as well engrave it or something. There you go, mill it out. You know, yeah, something. it's it's pink. The whole thing's pink. It's not even painted pink. It's a solid pink plastic. But yeah. that's a uh, seven overall for us. So um, first off, uh, again, remember it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, tell your family, friends, whoever get checked out. Yeah, I think you found one. <laughs> oh no, that's just a well. <laughs> um, I'm Dean. I'm Cypher. Remember to play hard. <laughs>